before I actually get into flow content too much, um, I want to look at the actual specification for content models. Um, and I'm going to scroll down to where it starts talking about the models here. This is a diagram of, um, of the different models and, and the elements within them. It's like a Venn diagram. So um, the elements that are contained in here are, are, in, are in everything that they're encircled by. So flow content, almost all elements in HTML are flow content, um, except for some metadata elements are not flow content. Um, all heading elements, H1, actually you can see them if I zoom down a little bit. So H1, H2, H3, H4, through 6, and H group. That's all the heading content elements. Now all of these are heading content and flow content because this is inside that circle. Um, so if embedded content is always phrasing content, it's also always flow. So uh, this is heading and flow. So the uh, H1 is both heading and flow. And then embedded, all embedded elements are embedded and phrasing and flow. And sometimes they may be interactive. And there's some other additional ones that are not as uh, common as, as these types here that are important. I'm going to zoom back in. So you can see that flow is uh, basically everything, kind of like in HTML4, um, uh, except for some of the metadata elements that are in the head. So some always have to be in the head, like uh, the title element always needs to be in the head. Some don't always have to be in the head, like the script uh, element can be in the flow of the document. So that kind of varies depending on the context. So um, in terms of the content, um, they all flow elements should have at least one descendant mode, node that is text or embedded. It's just like in HTML4, you need to have like an image or something or a text node. Um, otherwise, it's just empty and you're going to get that error with the block quote where it found the end of the tag before it got all the things that were inside of it. Um, so it doesn't need to be an immediate descendant. Um, doesn't have to be right away. So um, say we've got a, uh, a flow element div. And um, I'm going to put directly inside of it p. And then some content. This is a text node here. Um, now this div element contains within it a p element, paragraph element. So it actually doesn't directly have any content. But it does have, uh, as inside of it, an element which does have content. So it's, it's got a descendant that has content. So that's good. But what wouldn't be good is if we had this. That would not validate. So looking again at flow content, let's actually look at, so this is the list of all flow content. Um, and you can see that there's some kind of like, some of them it depends on uh, if there's a certain attribute available. Um, and then lastly is just text. Text counts as flow content. That, that would be like a text node. Um, but you can actually click on these elements. So I just clicked on block quote and read the definition that zoomed in, zoom the way I wanted it to, of, uh, of, its, of, its, uh, of its location in the, uh, in the in the grouping. Uh, so flow content is the first category listed here. Um, it's also a sectioning root and a format block candidate. These two you don't need to worry about. Um, they're not the main they're not uh, the main types. Um, but so basically block quote is just flow content with with some special rules. It also tells you in the specification where it can show up. Um, so it first it tells you what it is, then it tells you where it can show up, and it kind of makes sense that flow content um, can show up where flow content is expected. Basically kind of redundant, um, although it gets more complicated in other places. And then content model is you have a block quote. What can it contain? Sorry, that highlighting. What can the block quote element contain? It can contain the content model flow content. 
So block quote is a very simple element in terms of all this. It's not uh, terribly confusing, but I wanted to give that to you as an example first because some of the later ones get very confusing.